Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys um, some of the drugstore products that I got from Guardian, from Watsons and also from Etude House. Um, so it's going to be more like a try on haul and first impression. And I'm really sorry for the messy background and the poor lighting because I'm actually sitting in my kitchen right now facing the kitchen window and it's the only way I can get natural lighting in my house. So um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started on the makeup. Okay, first um, I have some foundations, some new ones that I got from um, Catrice. I got quite a lot of new stuff from um, Catrice and L'Oreal and Essence. So for foundation wise, um, I have the Catrice um, new foundation. It's their 24 hour um, waterproof foundation um, with perfect coverage and, and antioxidants and mine is in the shade um, 005 ivory beige yeah it says to be waterproof yeah see it's waterproof um i'm not sure of waterproof foundation actually um but i do quite trust waterproof mascara and eyeliners but um, honestly i have never heard of waterproof foundation so i'm actually quite keen and excited to try this out today and also I have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. Um, this is in the shade 102 called Shell Beige. And I think it's actually quite a nice uh, foundation. I actually used this once and I really really like the texture and the coverage. Um, but today I'm actually going to try out the Catrice um, 24 Hour Foundation. So these are the base products. And for eyeshadow wise, I actually got the LA Girl Eye Lux Memorizing Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah, this is the packaging, and this is in the shade called Energize 473. Yeah, so um, it's actually more like a warm, uh, warm shade kind of palette. So I think it's actually quite suitable for fall or winter seasons. And also, I have the um, Essence New Eyeshadow Palette. And this is in the shade called um, In Love with Rose Eyeshadow Box 02 and Happily Ever After. It's a very, very cute and uh, unique name for eyeshadow palette. And this actually comes in like, I think three or four different shades. Um, but I decided to try this one out because I really, really like the color. Um, but the only thing is that they don't have testers when um, I, when I bought this so uh, I'm not sure how the color looks like um, so let's just go ahead and get started on the eye makeup first okay so for eyeshadow primer I'm going to be using the Catrice um, Prep and Fine eyeshadow primer it's a brightening eyeshadow base and it's set to intensify any eyeshadow colors yeah, so first of all we're going to apply this on our eyelids um, it's totally brand new I haven't opened it yet so let me just get the plastic wrapping off first so it's open and this is the um, sponge applicator so we are going to just apply this directly onto our eyelids and just for the info um, I have totally nothing on my face I already done my skincare so uh, I'm totally bare face right now I think I apply a little bit too much yeah okay the texture is quite lightweight so I think a little goes a long way because it's actually quite um, quite easy to blend out. Yeah, I think I have to smear some of it off onto my hands. Yeah. So I'm just applying it and blending out all over my eyelid. Color is like a white, um, a white color kind of texture so yeah okay so this is the eye primer blended out I'm not sure if it's because I apply too much or it's the color that actually looks like this but I think um, it's making my eyelids looking a bit too white so I think next time I might have to uh, be careful of the amount <laughs> that I put on okay so we are done with prepping the eyes and next we are going to straight away get into this eyeshadow uh, palette 
which I'm actually really excited to try. Uh, just let me get the wrapping off. As usual, it's very, very tight. Right, so this is the packaging box. It's really, really cute with all the lovely cartoon numbers on the ca uh, cover. And inside, this is the color. So this palette is actually more like a um, pinkish, rosy, red kind of color. And um, I really, really like this palette because I'm actually quite um, excited to try out the pink and the uh, red color shades over here. And they do have some light shades as well. Uh, let me see if I can do a basic swatch. Okay, the powder is quite smooth for a drugstore brand. Um, so far, I can't see any flyaway powder on the palette. Um, let me just try out the colors. So this is the dark color, the pinkish color, and this is in. Wow, look at that pigment. It's actually quite high pigmented. And this is the shimmer shade. So this is roughly how the color looks like. I think the colors are actually quite high pigment and quite high intensity. Yeah, so yeah, this is the color. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm actually not sure what look I wanted to do. So, um, I think I'll just go rand uh, randomly. Okay, first I think I'm going to use this uh, shade over here as a base color. So, using my brush, just tap a little bit. Okay, it does have some flyaways um, on the brush. But it'd be fine if you just tap it off. Okay, apply this uh, over the whole eyelid. shimmers inside I'm not sure if you guys can tell uh, yeah you guys probably can't tell because the camera is take, taking the colors off yeah, but from, from what I see in the mirror the, the colors is, is actually quite nice I don't think you guys can really see the color so yeah this is the base color on okay and next um i think i want to try this pink color shade over here yeah it's like a burgundy rose kind of color which is i think is really quite nice so i'm going to clean off my dirty brush a bit and i'm going to get this shade and apply it um, starting from my lash line and blend all the way up this is a really nice rose color I think the texture is actually quite smooth and quite okay oh, I've got some on my face so the other side I'm actually kind of sweating right now because um, over here is actually very hot and very humid um, the sky looks like it's going to rain but at the same time there's sun out there so I'm not sure if it's going to be a rainy day or a sunny day today so it's actually very humid right now I'm actually really sweating all over For a simple basic daytime look, I think um, this two step is fine enough. But today I think I'm going to try out the rest of the colors like the dark um, white color over here and the purplish black kind of color. So I think I want to add on further more. And so I'm going to use a small pointed blending brush next. 
I'm going to take this wine color just take a little bit and tap off the excess and I'm going to blend this starting from the back and forward just nice um, it may look very dark in the palette but when you actually apply it um, the color is actually just nice and just right so it's not like a very scary um, kind of burgundy wine color and I think this color is actually quite it's actually quite suitable for daytime usage as well um, but if you want to Use this as a smoky eye um, look for the evening. Um, of course, it's definitely more suitable. So we're just gonna blend the harsh edges. Okay, we are done. Um, I know it doesn't look very obvious on the camera, but from what I see in the mirror. Um, I actually really like the color a lot. I like the color combination. Um, yeah, and the shimmer are really really nice as well. So far, um, there isn't any flyaway powders on my cheeks. So I think the texture is really quite smooth. Yeah. Okay, and next, I'm going to add a little bit of the dark purpley shade over here just to intensify the white color at the back. So I'm going to take a little bit on another brush and just slowly tap uh, on top of the wine color at the back and I think we are done with the eyeshadow so this is how it looks like I know on the camera you can't really see the colors but um, from what I see, I really really like the color. I think it's a very nice um, pinkish, rosy kind of shade that is very suitable for springtime, spring season, and probably even for winter because of the dark color. Yeah, I really really like it, and I think I still want to add on something. Um, I think I want to add a little bit of the white shimmer shade over here just to um, open up my eye area in front. white shimmer shade is it's very obvious um, yeah I can definitely see the white um, white color but um, I can't really see the shimmers so okay I don't think I like this white shimmer shade over here because um, it's giving me a very um, obvious white cast of my inner corners and there's actually no shimmer inside so yeah I don't think I like this white color shade but um, the rest of the colors the pink and this um, white color this rose color I really really like it it's actually very nice um, combination and the colors and the shimmers everything is great yeah okay so we are done with the eye makeup and next um, eyeliner. I don't have any new eyeliners. I didn't bought any new uh, eyeliners, so I'm just going to quickly draw my eyeliners and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are done with the eyeliner and next is mascara. Um, I don't have any new mascara with me, so we are going to be using this one. Um, this was given to me by my sister yesterday when she came over for dinner. And it's the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise in the shade 204 Blackest Black. And it is said to have um, volumizing and give you the length of your lashes. So we are going to just open this straight up. I really like the color and the packaging because it's in a very nice pink and a rose gold color. Okay, and this is the mascara. Yeah, and it's said to be waterproof as well. 
Um, so yeah, let's just try this out and see how it works. Okay, but first of all, we are going to uh, curl our lashes. So let's give it a good curl. Done with curling, so we're gonna get the mascara, open it up. Okay, this is how the brush um, applicator looks like. Um, to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of this kind of brushes um, because I think they are actually too big uh, for my single eyelid and my um, very short and straight lashes. But nevertheless, we are going to give this a try. I didn't apply any mascara primer, so I'm just applying this directly to my lashes. And we'll see how um, the volumizing and the lengthening effect works, yeah? Um, to be honest, I'm not really seeing anything in the mirror right now. Um, I can definitely see a little bit of lengthening, but I can't really see any volumizing effect. Uh, let me try another method. Usually if I want to get a volumizing effect, I'll do the um, zigzag motion. So that's the eye makeup completed. So now let's just move on to our base, our foundation. And first of all, for primer, um, I didn't get any new primer, but I did got this from Etude House. It's their Fix and Fix Pore Primer. Um, it's actually more for refining of your pores. So we're going to try this out today. Um, the reason I bought this is because um, they actually gave me a very small sample size last time and I tried it and I really really like it so I decided to get the um, original size one so this is the packaging, it's like a one whole tube and this has um, 25 grams so it's actually quite a big tube that you can actually use for quite a long time so we're going to... Okay, but first of all I need to clean my face again because I'm actually very hot and sweating right now Gosh, I hope it really really rains later on, you know, instead of like holding it back. It's very stuffy and very humid over here. Right, so we are gonna give a really good clean and wipe on the face. Okay, I think our face are now clean. So we are gonna start um, with the primer first. This is the texture. It's like those kind of silicone kind of um, Texture that you can actually just rub into your pores and just uh, mattify and uh, refine your pores. So we are going to apply this on the T-zone area because for me I'm combination skin, so usually I have only T-zone and uh, a large pores on the both sides. So we are going to uh, just apply over here and the T-zone area. priming the face. Now the excited part is the foundation. So I'm going to be using the Catrice new 24 hour waterproof foundation today. So let me just get the plastic off. I really like how they actually do come up with a palm design um, for their foundations uh, because I think with a palm it's actually much more easier and more convenient. Um, I like the one that I use like Estee Lauder and MAC um, You do have to get the pump separately So it's actually quite troublesome um, yeah, So I actually do prefer um, foundation with a pump directly um, on it Okay, so um, this is the packaging Yeah, so it's like in a, it's in this uh, little glass um, bottle Yeah, which I think is really quite nice Okay, we are going to give this a little good shake. Okay, squeeze this out. Okay, so this is um, the shade. Try out the texture. Okay, the texture is actually quite 
um, it's quite wa a bit watery at first but once you blend it out you can feel that it's starting to um, settle down to a, like a kind of a matte texture so there's um, so obviously there's no um, shine or any kind of glossy and dewy finish so it's actually a matte texture okay I'm going to be using a foundation brush on one side and the other side I'm going to be using um, a sponge okay, they actually came out with this um, makeup blending sponge yeah this is from Catrice so I'm going to be using this on the other side and this side I'm going to be using a foundation brush this side with the foundation brush and now we are going to move on to the other side um, using their makeup sponge okay so this is the makeup sponge this is totally brand new I haven't used it yet um, so this is how it looks like yeah, it's just like a normal um, blending sponge that you see out there in the market so we are going to do this side I have a lot of um, acne and scarring on my face so I, have, so I hope you guys don't mind my poor skin condition which I'm desperately trying so hard to improve Okay, before we start, I'm going to just um, slightly damp my um, sponge with a little fix blast because I think it's a little bit kind of uh, hot so we're going to wet it with a little fix blast Okay, and we are going to just tap it all over It's actually kind of like soaking up the foundation. Um, I'm not sure if it. I'm not sure if it's because I actually apply with a fix plus, a Mac fix plus. Um, yeah, but it's actually kind of like um, soaking up the foundation. So I'm actually not. Uh, so far, I'm not really liking this sponge because it's like eating up all the foundation away. Are done with the foundation um, as you guys can probably tell um, the coverage wise is actually not that great yeah so this is definitely not a high coverage kind of foundation I would say it's like a light to slightly medium kind of coverage because as you guys can probably still see um, I still have my acne marks and scarring here which are not totally covered yeah, over this side as well and for my dark eye circles, um, I would say it's about slightly 50% covered. Yeah, but it's actually still quite um, pretty obvious as well. And um, I definitely like this foundation better with a brush um, as compared to the sponge because um, as you guys can probably see, <laughs> the sponge has uh, soaked up quite a lot of foundation on it and making my foundation on this side looking a little uh, more thinner compared to this side. I know on the camera you, you guys probably can't tell um, but on this side I definitely think the coverage is slightly a little bit more higher compared to the one uh, with the sponge. Yeah, So I think this foundation um, definitely goes better with a foundation brush. Yeah, So okay we are done with the foundation. Now we are going to move on to concealer. For concealer I didn't really get any new uh, new ones except for this um, this uh, concealer from Maybelline is their Fit Me Concealer uh, and mine is in the shade number 10 light so um, we are going to try this concealer out today because I think it's actually quite um, popular on the internet a while back uh, they are famous for their Fit Me foundation which honestly I don't really like it um, I actually gave that away to my sister so um, I actually do have high hopes for this concealer okay, so it's actually with a sponge applicator Okay, we are going to try concealing um, the dark eye circles. Okay, so we are done with the concealing. Um, I would say this concealer. 
consider is also a light to medium coverage. Uh, it's definitely not a high coverage kind of cream concealer because I don't think this would be um, sufficient enough to cover any, any marks and scarring. Uh, but for dark eye circles alone, I think the coverage is actually quite okay, quite good. Yeah, and the texture is actually quite, um, quite runny and watery, so and very smooth and easy to blend out. So I think overall in general as a concealer for dark eye circles is actually quite okay, quite uh, quite good. But for acne marks and scarring, probably probably not so much. So it's better to use a cream concealer if you want to cover any acne marks and scarring. Okay, so we are done with the foundation. Uh, as usual, I don't have any new eyebrow products with me. So I'm going to draw my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm already done with the eyebrows and I just realized that I haven't set my foundation yet So I'm going to be using the Fix and Fix um, Loose Powder from Etude House This is also new, I just bought this um, like a few weeks ago and but I, really, but I have already used it like a few times and I really really like the texture, the smooth finishing This is the packaging Yeah, it's like a loose um, powder container I really really like this loose powder because I think that the powder are really really smooth and I think it's because they are actually quite um, finely milled which is why um, they can actually give you a very smooth and matte um, kind of finishing Okay, so now time for blusher um, I didn't get any new blusher this time so I'm just going to be using back my old uh, Maybelline Master Flush Creator and just uh, lightly apply onto my cheeks. Okay, so we are done with the blusher. Now it's just the lip products. Um, for lip products, I actually have products over here yeah so I got the um, Essence new uh, liquid lipstick it's their color boost uh, liquid lipstick and this is in the shade 03 called pink interest yeah so um, because they don't have uh, any testers over at the counter so I didn't manage to try this out um, at the counter over there and next I have the Maybelline new um, baby hot lacquer yeah this is the color, the packaging, and this is in the shade 62 called Charmer. Yeah, I actually did manage to try this out at the counter, and I really, really like the texture and the color, so I decided to get this. Um, but I didn't manage to try this out, so um, I think I'll try this color out today because um, I think it might go well with the overall look. Uh, especially the eyeshadow since it's like a rosy pinkish kind of color so let's just open this up okay and this is how um, inside looks like it's with a sponge applicator so I think it's actually quite uh, should be easy and convenient to apply I think let me swatch the color on my hand first it's really really light um, okay, to be honest, it wasn't really the kind of color I was expecting. Um, I was expecting this to be slightly more, um, more cooler, the shade to be more cooler, like a more um, kind of like dull kind of rose color. But this color is actually quite, um, it's actually quite pink. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but from what I see here with my eyes, um, it's actually like those kind of very neon, a bright bobby pink kind of color which is um which is something I don't really like yeah so and the texture is definitely not like a liquid lipstick it's more like a I don't know it's just like a very fine um, tinted kind of gloss okay you know what I decided that I think um, I really don't like the color and the texture so I think I'll go for the Maybelline one instead um, because I think since that we have quite a heavy eye makeup probably we should go light on the lips, don't you guys think? 
Okay, so as usual, it comes with a sponge applicator. Okay, let me swatch the color again on my hand. Whoa, look at that. Look at that color intensity compared to the essence over here. This is definitely way much more better and more uh, highly pigmented. Yeah, so I'm really, really quite excited to try this out on the lips. I think this color is definitely way much better than the one um, that I have on my hand, the Essence one. Okay, so we are done with the lip color. And I really, really like this color because um, although it's nude, but it's not totally kind of very pale, uh, kind of nude color. It's actually like more like a pinkish kind of nude color. So there's actually still some life and color to the lips. Not exactly very nude and pale. And second of all, I really, really like the texture. When you first apply, it's very, very smooth. Um, really really like the lacquer kind of finishing and texture also turn is not sticky at all you know like how some lip gloss and liquid lipstick when you first apply and then after a while it gets like very tacky and very sticky but this one definitely um, don't have that kind of issue and I really really like the color I think this goes better with the overall look today That's it for this um, entire try on haul and first impression of all the drugstore products that I have. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!